Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas, special guest, Marcio Zubi. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for coming, man. Stoked. I'm yeah, done. so we're here in San Diego, and we're here finally talking about one of the boards that I had a blast on a couple years ago. It was a prototype. I actually yeah. kept the board. Yeah. And this is, correct me if I'm wrong, this is Kanoe Garashi's twin fin model. Exactly, yeah. And when I got it, it didn't really have a name. So it's the Twin Turbo? Yeah, now it became the Twin Turbo T2. Still has the Japanese uh, names of Storms, but yeah, Storms Twin, twin Turbo. Awesome, now <laughs> I ran it in the pool, you gave me a prototype, it was kind of like first or second generation working with Kanoa. And I took a bunch of different twin fins from a bunch of different um, board makers. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of like the high performance twin fin that I was testing in the pool and this particular prototype actually won. I felt like it was the quickest top to bottom. I did have some criticisms that it needed a little bit more drive. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't change a thing about it from the pool's perspective, but to have a little bit more squirt off the bottom, because it was vertical easily, and going from top to bottom in the pool is how I want to surf that particular wave. Mm -hmm. And then I remember taking it out to some of the point breaks and having a blast and you and I talking over the phones like man the board looks great but where could we make improvements and now we're here on a final model so maybe you could tell us a little bit about the twin turbo yeah well from that original one to this there was uh, quite a few uh, adjustments that we had to consider obviously you're a good surfer but we we figure okay what we're aiming for with this high performance twin uh, it's not something that just Philippe and Kanoa are going to surf, you know. It's something that the general public can hop on and just have a fun, have fun on, on the conditions like the summertime, small waves, mm -hmm. have a lot of the speed that Twin Fin generates, but still being able to turn and, and do all the things that you usually can do with your truster on a good day. So we had to uh, be sensitive to a couple things on that one in particular, you know, and uh, we started to think with the feedback from some shops that we should consider putting a thruster, uh, a, a third fin in there. The reason why was uh, that way allows the, the, the surfer to, to continue to ride as a twin fin with the regular feet if that's what he likes, which that's what the design was made for, but also have the trailer in there, you know, that, that gives a little bit of that projection that sometimes the twin fin lacks mm -hmm. and, uh, and a little bit of the drive that you might want in, you know, on on a wave that's not so clean yeah. because the pool you always have that perfect, you know, nice clean, and, and on the beach sometimes you don't. Sure. So we felt like that that would be a, a good change. The other thing that we did too was change a little bit on the outline. I think the outline was a little bit wider to accommodate a little bit the surfer that's not as skilled as as you guys are, and. Uh, and also, we showcase a new construction. You know, in fact, uh, we've been working with the, with some uh, material manufacturers, uh, and we came up with a new carbon uh, Inigra configuration to give the extra flex on on, on this model, which kind of really was a, a pretty good combination. You know. So talking about flex, but I see that you have the carbon strip going to right here, maybe like top third of the side fins here. So obviously we're working on flex, getting a little bit of pop out of the, out of the tail where, the, where we're actually pushing and it's actually springing. That's what yeah. it looks, I would think is happening here. Yeah, and, uh, and I, I think you can see a little bit of the Inigra. Mm -hmm. Inigra is, is, is the white uh, PVC lines that run across uh, parallel to the carbon. They continue on all the way to the tail. So they still creates this hold and a little bit of that slingshot, but the carbon, which is, creates a lot more, I decided to cut before on the fins. So the way I allow this area here to have that, that spring effect, you know. So that was one of the, the changes, you know. And also, obviously, we were still working with the biaxial cloth on the, on the deck to create strength and hold, since we don't have a, a, a stringer, wood stringer per se. So yeah, this, this construction actually felt pretty good on this particular uh, model. Now, from what I remember, I talked about how quick that board's pivoting. It had good hold. I was riding my signature twin fins. They're a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. right? With the twin plus trailer adding the third box, did we move the fin boxes, the side fins at all? At all? Yes, we did. Okay, so we had they, to. We had to in order to accommodate the third fin. We moved the the set up. Okay. You know, so now not as quiet as a truster. You know, sure. So it's still below. Yeah. But yeah, it's up to accommodate the third one. 
So you can write as just a pure twin. Mm -hmm. You can write as a two plus one, like the small stabilizer. Yep. And uh, Philippe trying his, uh, he decided to put like a full one just truster. And he surfed that pool in New Jersey, the one that has a yellow rail. Yeah. And he was ripping on as a truster. Nice. I mean, it wasn't designed as it. Yeah. You never know what, what you're gonna get with that guy. Sure, now so. you got these little channels here. Maybe you could talk to the whole concept behind that. The idea was to make it easier, you know, to, uh, to turn. Obviously, the channels, they track a little bit towards the very end, you know, mm -hmm. and they have a, a, a distinct spicy feel to it, you know, as since you, in the beginning on that one, you didn't have any, any, any trailer. So I felt like, okay, I, I don't like the slidey, you know, feel so much, mm -hmm. you know, I like the projection and uh, how I'm gonna increase that on a twin fin. So mm -hmm. that's why we decided to continue the same line of the fin, you know, creating the, the channel. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like we're extending the, the drive and the bite of the fin. Because of know? the toe angle? Yeah, yeah. so we kept the same. And, okay. uh, and then we did one more, which we, we've been working with this quite a lot in other designs that we felt like increased a little drive. So it, it was actually, you know, felt pretty good. But now putting the third, third, third fin in it, it gives all these variations and in, in, in options in, in that you, the guy can play with. But as a twin fin with all these channels, it works pretty good. Awesome. You know? yeah. Now bottom contours, is it similar to what the model I was writing before? Did yeah. Change the concaves at all? No, we still kept the very deep single running from the two thirds of the board, then flats it out to the, the front, and then comes right here on the very end, turns into like a slight flat to a V, and then we carve the channels. Mm -hmm. One of the things I noticed on this particular model, and it kind of suits my style of surfing, I'm more of a back footed surfer, mm -hmm. is the wide point seems to be a little bit behind center. This one, yes. Not as much as that one, because I remember when you mentioned, I decided to do it, you know, pushing that way. But this one is still, we're still on the same side, but because I widened the nose in order to accommodate a not so experienced surfer, some, you almost kind of balance it out. Sure. But we're still below the, the, the midline, okay. you know, right around there. You know. Now, one of the other things that I noticed, not only about that board, but when I came to pick up this board, the rail kind of feels a little bit more like a performance rail or a similar rail to the Storms. Yeah, it does. We decided to also accommodate that, you know, to have a more of a kind of high performance rail, you know, so that way when you're riding as a truster, you have basically both both worlds. You yeah. Know? And um, even though you notice that this edge here is being brought out a little farther. Yeah. So you have a little bit more bite, which you have to have in order to twin fin. When it comes down towards the middle of the board, then you have the regular. A trust your rail with the apex right in the middle. Sure. Yeah. You were riding the sport at the cliffs. Tell me about what what does it feel like under your feet? What have you experienced with the? Yeah, we, we, we you know like we've been giving this board to be ridden by by so many really good surfers. Not only for the team guys, guys like you and, and other guys that work here that surf a lot good, a, a lot better than me and, and and the CEO. So we me and the CEO we just like hey, hey let's go surf and see if this thing kind of suits us. You know our age and our ability. So we kind of swap in the, in the water. We both have the same boards. One was PU and one was this construction. And we started off with a twin and we kept the, the trailer on the wetsuit. And, uh, and the twin felt really driving. I mean, Sunset Cliffs, is, uh, the abs is a, is a laugh that's kind of uh, slopey, sure. not, not, not too powerful, but right. it's, a, it's a long laugh. You know, you can you know, get a lot of turns going. And uh, it felt really good. It felt the drive because I, I ride my trusted there all the time. So right. with that twin, it's like, oh man, it's actually I don't think I need a trailer. Right. So I put the trailer, you know, just, just so I can feel it. And I felt like, wow, it actually didn't need, I mean, increase even more, Right. but the, the twin fin felt really, really positive, you know? So how long was your board? 5.8 you said? 5.8. Okay, yeah. so then what twins were you riding and what trailer was in the wetsuit? Because you're an FCS2 guy, right? Yeah. So were you riding MRs? We rode the MRs on one board and the Mick Fanny on the other. Okay. The Mick Fanny is a smaller twin with a bigger trailer. Okay. The MRs are bigger twin with a smaller trailer. Right. You know, so we kind of kept uh, switching. It felt really good with both. You know, the twin with a bigger bigger set. Yeah. And then the yeah. Mick Fanny with a with a trailer. You know. Now, what's the wave range? Would you say for this board? And I'm sure that's going to vary if someone's riding it purely as a twin fin. 
yeah. twin plus trailer or even thruster. When you say Philippe's riding thruster, who's to say we couldn't push this as a daily driver and maybe a little overhead and below? You could easily, no problem at all. Right. You know, especially because you have the extra uh, edge being brought out with a thruster, you could definitely increase the drive. You know, even though it's not a, a true thruster, considering that the trailer is, is, is almost kind of in the twin, but it's still, Philippe felt like it was a lot of speed and drive. So, yeah, it's up to you to try. <laughs> <laughs> to be here, Waco Surf, my buddy Asa. You. We've been pushing the Storm's twin turbo here at the pool a bunch. Neither one of us can get off the thing, <laughs> right? I mean, it's going really, really well. It is. I'm having a blast. Now, I started in the ocean with the Pivot Twin plus stabilizer. Rode it the entire time, had a great time on it. I wish I had put the HP Twins and rode it in the ocean, maybe in a little bit smaller waves, just to get that speed, you know? Mm -hmm. But Rob Henson here, the photographer, him and I were going back and forth, and I was saying, oh, I'm gonna try the HP Kiels. And the HP Twins blew me away and Rob was kind of laughing at me because I didn't think it was going to go good because the fin boxes are up a bit further. Right. And after I rode it, you weren't here that day. I called you. I'm like, bro, <laughs> twin turbo, HP Twins, next level fun. How'd it go for you? Uh, pretty much the same. Started with these uh, pivot twins with the stabilizer. Board was fun, uh, but it was kind of sticky and uh, wasn't as loose as I wanted it. And then put these bad boys in, rode it for an hour, a little more last weekend, had a great time on it. And then today rode it for an hour and the board west was going bananas. Top and bottom, ton of speed. Uh, Rob was like, that board looks so good under your feet. Looks like it was meant to be there. And so, yeah, I cannot wait to ride it two more hours after this. For yeah. me, I have to move on. Yeah. I'm already riding something else, but my heart's right here right now because <laughs> it's so much fun. I get jealous to see you ripping on it, riding as a pure twin fin. But look guys, I'm going to say this for me. You can say whatever you want to say. This is a favorite of mine. I'm having a blast in the pool, in the ocean. From the twin fin pool party and the original prototype, I feel like Marcio did a great job just giving you more fin options. I did run it as a thruster with a neutral template. Since the fin boxes are clustered, them being closer, I want a more upright fin. It felt super fun in the pool. So you guys want to ride it as a daily driver you have that versatility, you can ride it in overhead surf. I had a blast on this board. Was it a favorite for you? Absolutely. Or, okay. No, total favorite. I, I uh, telling Rob, this, I would surf this board in the contest. That's how much I like this board. Yeah. This could be the winning board. It looks really good on you, Asa. Thank you. Marcio, well done. You Thank made you, some Marcio. great changes to the board. Thanks for sending it in for review. Look, if you like the show, subscribe. Asa, thanks for joining us on the show. Ring the bell so you don't miss an episode and give us a thumbs up if you like our content. Until next time, we'll see you in the water. Bye-bye.